how many of you know how important it is to have a ministry that intercede for, intercedes for our pastors and the vision of the church? Raise up your hand. Come on. Let's put our hands together for this man of God that God has placed this amazing um, necessary vision into his heart. And I just want to ask you something, Alex. How did it happen and what can you tell about this ministry and how can you encourage people to participate in that and important solve it? Um, how it happened was I was going through a really, really tough spiritual like darkness and I was seeking God and, and seeking God and then I talked to Vladimir one day in his office and he says, you know, he mentioned the in, a ministry of intercession and I went home and he says, pray about it and just one day I just got angry at all the darkness. I just got fed up and just commanded it to go. I got sick and tired of it. I've always been, you know, like fighting uh, just things that are overpowering me, you know, just thoughts, bad, just bad feelings, bad days, you know. And I just got so angry. I said, in the name of, I just started commanding it to leave. And I felt so light. And I felt so happy. And I, and I just, like, was born again, literally. And I texted Vladimir. And I realized what that was. That was spiritual warfare. That was me getting fed up. And beginning to use the authority that's been in here for all these years. And that same authority that's already... Come on, let's put our hands together louder for Jesus. And so at that moment, God began to place that burden upon your heart, right? Yes. And so I texted Vladimir right away, I want to do it. And I just... Well, from that moment on, I never felt that darkness again. Because it doesn't have a chance to come back because every day I'm interceding for others. Every day I'm taking authority over the darkness. I'm breaking it. You know, just breaking it. Because uh, anyway, I don't want to go into the details. It takes forever. But literally my life from that moment has changed in the, you know, a better way. And I don't feel the darkness anymore. I feel boldness. I mean, and, the, and, the, and those kind of prayers, the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit sees that you're, you're going, doing what you're supposed to do, He begins to reveal things. He begins to anoint things. He begins to give you boldness. And when you, you pray, you just have this boldness and authority and, and you, you become a Christian, you know. So I just want to invite everybody, you know, you don't have to be at any level. You just come. And you just begin to use authority that's already in you. And God is going to start supporting that. And God is going to start anointing that. Because if you just live in your, you know, your regular life and going around selfish, you know, selfish, just worrying about yourself, there's no anointing there. There's no power there. That thing that you crave and you wish that one day God would touch you, it's not going to happen just when you think about yourself. Alex, would you please uh, tell what are the things you guys pray at those meetings and when do you meet? Uh, we meet as much as we can almost every day we try like 4 p.m 3 6 p.m it depends we we make a note on slack so an announcement so anybody you get the snack it's a slack uh, it's our church app where we communicate 4 p.m 4 30 5 30 we come and we just literally we pray to remove every the bible says there's arrows the Bible says there's plans, tactics. The Bible says that the devil does not sleep. And so we're, we're praying for hunger generation, for the leaders, for the pastors, for the vision. Just kind of like we did today on a stage for the buildings. And we just literally remove that darkness. We remove what the, there's spirits, there's principalities. Maybe we're not all familiar with that. But the, the devil's not asleep. But we have authority. So we just get together, three people, ten people. And we just unite and we say in the name of Jesus. We don't come in our strength. And you know there's really a lot of people fear like a retaliation there is a retaliation when you don't fight but that, that's what I had I had this darkness depression you might be experiencing some kind of you know darkness bad dreams you know like this weak you know spiritually you just you're just tired that's that's the devil and if you come against it you know he's, he's not gonna do something he's already doing it he's already making your day go bad so there's nothing to fear. You come in the name of Jesus. Not in your name. So don't fear. I just want to challenge you. Just do. It's safe. It's 100% safe. Jesus says, go, make disciples, cast out demons. He didn't say, but be careful. He didn't say that. He says, you will handle snakes. You will, you will crush snakes. And he says this, nothing will hurt you by any means. 
but people they say well you know be careful no Jesus gave you authority Jesus died on the cross Jesus paid with his own blood and there is no careful there there is there's no retrieve there he says be bold attack take over and I just want to encourage you if your family is in darkness if your children are sliding back you just gotta fight and this is the perfect place we pray for our pastors the vision the leaders we just pray and you know we we just see blessings in our my life literally I was born again that day and I have never went back to that darkness again I mean come on let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ you know what Alex we just want to thank you so much for answering God's call upon your life and taking that ministry and running with it and we believe that there's going to be many many people joining that ministry because it's crucial to the vision and to the plans that God has for hunger generation and the church of God in general amen amen thank you so much thank you